Hello there, my name is uh, Slizosaurus, and uh, this is my first commentary on this channel. Now, technically, that's a lie. Uh, my first commentary was, um, or YouTube screwed up the audio, so it sounded like I had a voice like um, Mitt Romney. And on the second one, there was a sound in the background that sounded like two walruses having sex. And I still haven't identified the source of that sound, which is kind of worrying. So let's hope we can get through this video without any walrus copulation happening in the background. So, um, right, on to topics and things. So, uh, I thought, you know, this channel should be about something... Topics that are a little bit more intelligent than, uh, than, than looking at White Boy's new giveaway video too soon. Never mind. I want to talk about violence. So, I think the uh, there's like some board or something in Geneva, which is like the centre of reliable statistics, that put like the uh, value of a human life at something uh, akin to 9 million USD, I think. Or it might be euros, I'm not sure. The euro fluctuates so much, so let's just stick with USD. And, um, which is a bit insensitive I suppose but someone had to do it so it might as well be the Swiss uh, but the thing is what I find violence is stupid and on a small scale basis violence is just unnecessary it's why usually it's brought on by uh, you know drugs alcohol uh, being an idiot that's a major cause um, but then again, violence in, or at least the threat of violence is stupidly necessary because, let's face it, without violence, where would we now? We wouldn't have these massive empires with technological advances, would we? I mean, sure enough, the Romans didn't actually, did well, they did fuck all apart from invent the aqueduct, really, and wine. Although they didn't invent wine. Um, they popularised it. That was nice. Then came the French, and yeah, I'm going on a tangent again. This is great. Um... But violence, yeah, I mean, it, sometimes it does amount to good things. And I'm not saying that you need to go beat up some physicist, then leech out of his blood the knowledge of how to travel faster than light and conquer space and things. Don't do that. You'll get arrested. And it won't work. But it has amounted to some good things, some things that, you know, have worked. To an extent to an extent uh, and, um, uh, but do you know why it's necessary because pacifism the alternative doesn't work it's one of so many things that don't work like politics or communism um, so many racist jokes I could say right now but I won't because I'm a sensitive individual fuck the French um, but if people tell you violence isn't the answer then wrong it um, certainly raises many questions, but it can be an answer to several things. What is necessary? Violence. What got me arrested? Violence. That's uh, uh, not real. Uh, <laughs> I mean, obviously, there are some outlets as well for uh, violence. Things like games of football, which is which you Americans call soccer, even though the rest of the world calls it football, or football, or football or football, or some variation of football, which I said in a foreign accent. So, yeah, you're the ones in the wrong here, silly Americans. But, uh, I suppose that's how it goes. I mean, things people need outlets for, uh, for things like this, violence. It just, it is ingrained into human nature. It just, literally, just, it's burned into our soul. It's genetic. People are violent then there are some people who are born sociopaths and come on let's face it they make for some pretty good movie topics but where would we be without violence these sociopaths these uh, violent people won't stop unless they're confronted with an equal or higher amount of violence or at least the threat of an equal or higher amount of violence if I told you that I would berate you and send you a memo warning you of future memos when you hit me in the face, that's not going to stop you, stop you, or discourage you from hitting me in the face anymore, is it? I mean, let's be honest here. It's 
violence is a it's a difficult problem, and it's one that can only be solved so so ironically with more violence. So that's my um, that's my sensitive and uh, very accurate moral for you today. Just remember that if someone hits you, pick up a chair and fuck them up. Wow, that was deep. But I'm not done yet. Of course I'm not done yet. I'll never be done yet. I love the sound of my own voice too much. <sighs> See, uh, what does annoy me about violence is the fact that we've invented tools, these things, that just sort of outlet violence into incredibly horrid and deadly forms. Uh, like a, an article that made me think of this back, um, I don't know, a month ago, is that the US are now developing actual rail guns. That's right, rail guns, electromagnets that fire... Uh, fire bits of sharp, razor-sharp metal into other people um, with a, a deadly accuracy, uh, speed, and um, power, and heat. Lots and lots of heat. Uh, but then again, that's the US Navy, so what are you going to do? But the, the, the point of that thing is that the, the idea of having that uh, massive rail awesome gun of doom is to stop other people from considering making and firing massive awesome railguns of doom at the people who are currently developing and putting into practice massive rail awesome guns of doom. So, yeah. That's, that's, that's the main niggling I have about violence. That and the fact it hurts people, which isn't very good, I suppose. Um, that is the main thing that just makes me want to kill people, which is incredibly hypocritical, but violence in itself is incredibly hypocritical. And on that note, I leave you with one saying. Man who mixes up Viagra and constipation medicine is fucking shit in bed. I just thought I'd leave you with that, because it's not even relevant. Goodbye.